Okay. Episodes. Home Alone. Playtime, 20 minutes. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is, so. Second or third one are good. The first one, episode five. Can I just play this one? I'm already started. They're all good? Okay, I'm just gonna play this one. Home Alone sounds good. It's the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekends. Also, I feel like I do not have I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Oh, I did plan on fixing that. I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. What the fuck? Escape to read messages. Dad and I may be back Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. Think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably going to order some pizza. Yes. No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Mason Oliver. How's chemistry? Yeah, crap. We can do that tonight. Oh, we'll see. My parents are off for the night. Want to come over? We can play Mario Kart. I'll let you know. Okay, call Josh too. I can't promise you. may have plans with Nat. Oh. Alright, I have to go to the fridge and get my food. Food was cold. Where'd it go? Food is heating up. It was nice and hot. I liked watching TV while I ate. Who's this fucking narrator telling me what to do? The person who happened to them? This is a real story or what? Eat? Oh. I was watching the show. I guess we're moving out. I guess we're moving out. Mom! Mom! Mom!
Get over here! Can't eat it. I'm trying to watch stop turning, sorry. Is that his sound of him eating? Bro, you eat like a I don't even know what like but Ew Ew You a nasty bit. Close your damn mouth! Is it glitched? I don't know, I can't eat the last- Oh, there we go. I was feeling very sleepy after eating that food. Oh, I think I just have to click the bowl. All right, let's go put our plate. Hey, close the TV. I'm pretty sure I saw someone walk upstairs. But I guess I'm gonna go to sleep anyway. <laughs> The oh, fuck, motherfucker walks slower than. Oh, good. I'll just go back to bed after Kim. Imagine looking out your fucking blinds like this. This is my room. Fuck, I didn't mean to get up. Oh. 12.38 AM. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula this time. Behind you? What do you mean behind me? And game or out? It's time for bed, bro. I always close my door before going to bed. Okay. One sixteen a.m. I got up to get some water. Why would you ever get water if you're alone home, bro? You know that you bring the water to your room. You lock all the doors. If anyone's inside, they can't get in. Bro, I, this would never happen, bro. I would have locked every door in the house and had water with me. This is just not realistic. This is unbelievable. Is there a gun in my hand? I don't have a gun in my hand, do I?
Shit, I'm stuck! Run, 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 run. Wait, need to drink. Wait, why are you getting out? No, no, no. I should keep hiding, right? I mean, if this was a real situation, I would keep hiding. But I guess we're gonna explore. That shit is fucked, bro. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> That's it. They closed my game. What happened? Is it done? Is it done? That's it. I needed to keep hiding. Why would you go towards him? I don't know. Should I play a different mode or play the same mode? When you die, it closes out.
There's a different ending? Fuck, I have to do all that again? I'd rather do a different one, chat. I was low-key mid, no? I got scared as fuck. I don't know about you. I mean, I don't know why I walked towards it, like you said. It saves your checkpoint? It didn't. I can't do it again, speedrun. It's so slow. I think let's do a different one, chat. It's gonna take too long. How do I leave this? Fuck. How do I leave it? I'm gonna close this one out. Chat, I, I I would rather play a different one because like, I mean that was that was that scared me already. That already scared me. So I mean I, I'm happy with that. Like it might not have been a good ending, but I got scared. Fuck it. No, I started I started hearing shit in my house. I thought, but I mean I don't know if I was. All right, let's do Norwood Hitchhike. I have to download it. I have to buy it. Hold on. Wait, how can I just get all of them? Add to cart bundle. Purchase for myself. Bro, just fucking buy it. Store. Fears. The fathom. Where's the bundle? Or would hitchhike? Add to cart, purchase for myself. I agree, purchase. Thank you, install content. Install. Close window. Wait, it's downloading Ironbark loadout. Ironbark's really good? Okay, that's the one that's downloading first. All right, um, we're doing Iron Bark. Wait, you've already played this. Did you get scared? I wasn't even scared right there. That was like a YouTube reaction, by the way. I don't actually get scared. All music tracks in this video games are copyright free. W. Just a slider until the first F is barely visible. It's already barely visible. Done. Episodes. Iron Bark loadout. New game. May 12. Hey, I noticed you were requesting the story submissions while I was watching YouTube play Flares of Fathom the Carson House. I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It was kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would look like a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I decided it allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. The biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with lots of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. One time I was transferred from an outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Truck simulator. Oh shit. Oh shit. Thanks again driving. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No. Is this scary? No, it's not a scary game. It's like a road trip. 
I live a very, very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. This is dinner. This is diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in time. Try them out. I can lose a good meal before stopping the next day. A diner? Down. Now I'm getting hungry again. Terrible driver, what do you mean? We're getting from point A to point B, no? Perfect parking job. You see? How's that burger? Where are you headed? I'm more interested in the burger. This little piece of heaven? This place is my pretty much... This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Just passing through. Have a safe journey. Big-ass burger. Oh, reader? Why? Because I already missed the word. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. We got it, man. You look a little lost. Just tired. This place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for vanilla latte. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at the state park. Ah, uh, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a little bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Good talk, bro. You mind if I join you? Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right over with you. All right, thank you. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatballs, sub with chicken nuggets. Cheeseburger with fries. Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Coffee. Wait, a coffee and a burger? Damn. It's all the same answer, just different ways. I'll be nice. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good, appreciate it. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Alright, let's go pee. You shit yourself in game. I really had to pee.
the fuck? They burn out the washing hands, but not the peeing Keck W. That's valid as fuck. The dev got lazy. The dev got lazy, bro. The dev literally got lazy and just black screened while I was washing my hands. It was a strong stream. Why the fuck did I get a coffee? Miss, miss, I didn't order a coffee with this. Why the fuck would I order a coffee with burgers? Are you crazy? It's okay. It's like an XP bar. It's like IRL XP bar. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Hey, use your fucking ketchup, buddy! you he he this food reminds me you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about i might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine and the new lookout there's no fucking way he put squiggles around that i'm actually taking that w riz did you enjoy the food shit i mean i feel like i'm forced to say this would you like to have anything else or should i get the check check please okay i'll be right back thanks So the game looks like a 1980 commercial with the text looking like an iPhone. Yeah, I don't know. It's just interesting. Let's go! Scare me! Here's the check. Your total is six dollars and sixty-six cents. What if I'd like to buy you a house? Would you be interested in a house? I didn't think so. 50%. Will I be back here ever? How do I look today? Yeah, 10 out of 10, huh? Alright. I got an achievement! Thanks for the generous tip. Got you. Some people these days, some people. What the fuck? Who the fuck didn't close the door to the RV? The bathroom door was strangely jammed. No shit! Later. Later. Oh. That wasn't even me. Ayo, turn on power 106. Turn on 103.5, baby! Z100, 100.3! I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Bro, you're overhyping this.
I drove past the trail at first. Do you want me to turn back around? That's a fucking hell of a U-turn. That's a hell of a U-turn. Oh my... What's wrong with this guy? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? Hey, Lord, have mercy. Hey, Lord, have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Huh? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Take keys. Let me open the shell gate for you. What the fuck is this NPC RuneScape looking ass head ass game? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful, take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. All right, so I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked that serious. I remember I said I was going to be on foot from here. Oh. Foot trail, no bikes, only horses stay on the trail. You got it. I left my bag in the RV at first. Do I have to go back for it? You fucking kidding me. Okay.
11.32 p.m. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. I think I'm going the wrong way. Oops. Closest tower, tower 11. Tower 11. Is this a tower or no? Tower 11 left, Lacey Trail right, Golden Creek Trail that way. Done. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time, it's not for everyone. Utility Shack. I always had a fondness for the outdoors. I sent it to the stairs, top of the tower. Once you're at the top of the tower, you always look out for fires or anything out of the ordinary. The cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. This is a nice little tower. It's finally in my home for the next few months. No video games in the system. We got to turn on the generator at first. Generator. Which one's the fucking generator? I actually have no fucking clue. I will be fucked in this tower. Is it downstairs? Is it in the utility shack? Yeah, probably okay. That looks like a generator. Right? I saw it? Oh shit. Oh, right here. Oh! What the fuck is this? Haha, <laughs> it's making random sounds. No, no, no. What? Iron Bark! Are we at Tower 11? Haha! <laughs> this is Microsoft or is Rainbow? Make some 1.6 on this bitch? Hello there, it's Smiley. Isn't this the guy from Micro- or Word? Your trusty virtual assistant here to make the most of your computer today. Surprise, you found me. How can I assist you today? What's on your mind today? Uh, I think we have to report a service reporting. I'm 
enjoy. Who's I'm this? Fire Tower 12. You're That's watching? Job, but had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron, Ho Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really you tired. Going? No. You're lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it, thanks. He wants me to start a fire? Huh? Am I staying in here? Stove should be. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Do I have wood up there? What about my bag? Can you put this in the bag? Oh, fuck the bag, I guess. Hey! Hey, should I bring the bag back up or fuck it? Oh, the bag in my room? How? Do I glue it like a Valorant gun? Should have left the bag upstairs? Well, now that I have it, I have to go back up and come back down? Shit. Do I have wood up there? I hope so. Where's the fucking wood? We got no wood in here. Drop the flashlight to get the wood? Oh. I didn't know I needed both hands for the wood. Wait, why can't you just grab a couple?
How am I supposed to know I need both hands for the wood? He's been carrying two things this whole time. It's not placing. It's not placing. Where am I putting this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's the lighters? And there's fire. I need gas. Oh sh. No. Where do I get this information from? Welcome to Iron Bark State Park! If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say, CONGRATULATIONS! You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been that selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many the hours YouTuber, of hard right? work. I should know. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire, Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. Wait, how do I get the temperature? This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. 
If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. <laughs> we hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't, don't joke. joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Lick my balls, cameraman! Pee pee poo poo. Alright, well, I actually didn't get anything out of that. <laughs> there must be equipment here for me to use. What's this? What is this, the wind? 20 knots, people. 20 knots. This is a compass. I don't think we need that. Holy fuck. What other tools we got? Thermometers on the wall? Oh. 41, 45 degrees, 20 knots. What about the... It's cloudy. Tower 11, copy. Sign off for the day. I just got here. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Now what? Did my job. Alright. I mean, I close my door. That's it. I guess I'll look for fires. Eric working a real job POV. <laughs> it's not funny.
the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm whiffing. my sense, man! Three twenty six AM. Oh, I'm asleep. I can't hear it. Connor, Connor, Connor. I had to pee. Fuck! Where's my flashlight? Did we bring a weapon? My first not being... Being that out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Huh? What? Night two. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. in the shot or no?
Bro's a photographer. This does imagine actually being here though, that's actually mad nice. Copy. This is Connor from Tower 12. You got I copy, Connor. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that, Son Connor. What's up? Bitch. Son of a bitch, excuse Nobody me. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's the first job here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Give me that. Give me that. Fuck. I don't need this. Hold on, man. Yes, I see it. Yes, I see it. I saw it. I saw it. You spot that white smoke up? It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? I'll have their report on it. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's my first fucking mission. With my flashlight. Uh, do I just go this way? I think it's back, yeah, yeah. I remember the sign, Lacey Trail. Wait, cops said don't go north, Monka? Fuck, I forgot about that. Alright, so should I not go and just say fuck it? Just stay in my room or what? Lacey Trail. Caution in this area. I'm good. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Ah! Oh shit, I'm coming! I'm coming for you! No camping. Violators will be sighted and moved. I love Jen, she gives the best head. <laughs> That's funny. What the fuck, is that blood? Hello? Oh my god, I didn't have service. Ew, those pictures suck. I didn't take that. This is a terrible picture. That one's a little better. Crop that shit out. View from my tire, smile. Wait, why can't I talk? Tire, smile? Tower, smile. Where the fuck do these guys go?
I mean, what am I supposed to do? Not here. I put it out. I did my job. Nine oh seven p.m. I came there and fucking put the thing out as I hiked back to my tower through the dark. I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Sounds like a personal problem, what the fuck? Got to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Talk about you campsite. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? I'm what do you mean? These bastards. It's unbelievable. This has been happening a lot. Mention scream. scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a man that scream. talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that About area. A month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does it well, have to do with the campsite? People started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely Great. not. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Agreed. You be safe, dear guy. Over and out. You too, over and out. Alright, it's time for bed. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Are you out of your fucking minds? No. No. Got a fridge in here? I don't eat pepperoni though. Hello, Haram. I can't finish this part of the game. I'm gonna have to do it without the pepperoni and see what happens. Is beef pepperoni? It's not beef, bro. This is 100% pork. Where's the tomatoes? Oh. You won't tell, right?
Bro, every five minutes, Connor. Suck a fat dick, dude. You guy, you copy? What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Good job. I can track them down and get them a piece of their mind. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was better just getting to it. it. You better get to it. They this didn't sound to me in a very good mood today. today. You got it. Show you what. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Seventeen knots, people. Seventeen knots. Forty-nine degrees. Forty-nine point one. Seventeen knots. As report. Forty-nine point one. Seventeen. Fuck. What's the fucking weather condition? Cloudy. 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 Very cloudy. I missed the red sub messages. I just remember the smell of fresh sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. You fucking savage. Wait, let's like put this down for a... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, that looks so good, dude. That looks so fucking good. Enjoy, my king. You should be watching for smoke instead of you're sitting here eating a lasagna. My fucking dog. My fucking dog. And you're facing the whole fucking thing yourself, you fat ass. Respect. I was already full? Okay. Fair. I get a wood stove lit. How do I light the wood stove? I need, I need a. Oh, I need wood. A map?
I don't need two hands, apparently. No, apparently I don't need two hands. They can do it with one hand. The fuck did I do all the matches? This is a fucking mess. That's a hard day at work. That's a hard day at work. Woo! Use an app, no? IRL ending game. Always close the boards outside before heading to bed. What boards outside? What boards outside? Oh. What the fuck is- is this a scary game or is this like a fucking- I'm like questing and shit. Like, I'm actually work- I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. It's not me.
What? Connor, do you copy? Connor! Do you copy? Hello! Any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. What if this is not a prank? This feels like uh, some real ritual. This is serious? You don't understand, do you? Connor didn't make any sense. There's not much I could have done in the dark. Night three. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason as just a harmless prank by some kids. There's something about that night just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. I occupy most of my days either with a civil maintenance and or run around the tower. Or by scanning densities of all the trees around me. I don't know if these girls only grew. Help me? I ain't helping you. Oh, I saw smoke? <laughs> That's the smoke. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack Tower uh, 11. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What equipment do you have here? I have a flashlight, radio? a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. What is uh, your current location? I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you describe your surroundings? I'm surrounded by trees. And oh, shit. I remember I passing that. a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking right towards now? west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get back to you.
Okay. Uh, hello? Chicho! Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. I, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Uh. Yeah, I have no idea where he's at. Like, I, I I was trying to find it, but like, I don't think I have any idea actually. There's two trails left or right by a river he passed. Where am I? Left? Everyone's saying left, everyone's saying right. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Go you know left! <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. Hello? Hello? I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you! I hear your whistles. That's not Wh me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I just asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, hey, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out. If I keep holding this for one more second. Take supplies. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a camp campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Four twenty. Where did I say? Lom work.
The hiker? The hiker's dead? How do you know the hiker? Wait, what? Oh, from work. I mean, the hiker is dead. No, he's not. Ew, close your mouth, bro. Yo, what kind of horror game is this? Bro, I've literally been working a 9 to 5 for like two hours now. Bro, they got me working this hour. Wait, where'd it go? Work is the scary part. Is it a 55.3? It's windy? Oh yeah, you're right. True. Fuck, what would I do without this chat? Oh, time for bed. I get to Are you fucking kidding me? Why you always replay? <laughs> gave me a heart attack. I understand. And loneliness can make the mind play. Who are you? I don't need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi on the new guys everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. But do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right measures message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? I agree, fire risks are high this season. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention. What? Prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disaster is just another form of cleaning and cleaning. A way for the land to purify itself. I'll see you around, Salas. Good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Isn't this the guy I saw at the coffee shop or the diner? Very well, Jack. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I threw my stuff there by accident. I can't grab it. Fuck. My flashlight's gone. God damn it. Fuck. I can't get it. I can't go there. It's a restricted area. Oh my god. I never told him my name? It's valid. Did he say my name without me saying it? He did, didn't he? 
I mean, no, everyone knows. Everyone knows I'm the new guy here. It's fine. Everyone knows I'm the new guy here. He works here, supposedly. I'm fucking here, Connor. You copy now. Right here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Who? The guy maintaining the radio tower. Is this about yesterday? What do you, you mean? Yank my chain now? What do you mean? The radio mean? tower has been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried itself. He don't work here. He don't work here. You don't work here. Repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Who no did I talk to? According to Mitch. Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my you name. name. You think he's been listening? I don't know. Anyway, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Bro, fuck your rules, bro. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need okay. him anyways. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. Me too. Tower 12, signing off. Good night over and out. Okay, something's gonna happen here for sure. They don't scare me here, I'm gonna break this fucking monitor. My unease was starting to grow at each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I need to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later, 9.18 p.m. It's raining. Hey guy, you got a minute? Sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I well, update the computer? To be honest with you. All this new technology, it's not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. On it. I'm a fucking nerd, of course I can figure it out. Oh shit, you guys can see what I'm typing. Bro, I used to... <laughs> a little bit of C++ on this motherfucker. This motherfucker be running. Faster than ever. Huh? Trial and error, so basically half the job for programming. Trial and error, guys. You fix it, you break it, you fix it, you break it. If you program, you know what I'm talking about. Most of you guys probably don't, it's okay. What? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying or nah? What happened? Power was out. Well, that's too bad. I guess it's time for sleep.
Uh, I have no flashlight. Uh, unless they gave me another one back. Oh, I did. Wow. You need to put gasoline in this? What do you mean you ran out of gas? How does this thing work? I don't fucking know how this thing works. How do I power this thing on? Excuse me. The fuck? One week later, oh my god, bro. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I've ever talked. Once I was talking to myself, I hear you on that. 2.34 a.m. Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Huh? Oh, I'll take a picture. Where's my fucking camera? Where's my camera? How do I take a picture?
My guy was crouching. I couldn't run away. Can I run it back? I'm gonna run it back. We got another one. Jack, you copy? I need more smoke to my weapon. I need more smoke to my weapon. Appears to be. That is fucking freaky. Not my life. <laughs> Fuck, man! I was answering chat. I was trying to say it's not my light. Oh my god, man! There's no fucking way, dude. There's no. Fuck, it's 10 30.
shit. Bro's a fucking track star. I'm never going camping again. <laughs> I liked Home Alone better. Dude, they had me working. I played Home Alone for 15 minutes, but I was scared the whole time. That was fun, though. I mean, I got, I mean, I got scared when it was meant to be scary, so it was good. Like, I wasn't, like, actually scared, though, obviously. I was like, you know, I would, I wouldn't get scared. What the fuck is that? All right, chat. All right, chat. I'm flying to LA tomorrow. So next time I'm going to be live is on uh, Wednesday. So I will see you guys for the next stream on Wednesday from Sentinels. That was fun, though. That was too much of a drag, that last game, though. Orange Life for Halloween, I got you. Do I have it? Happy Halloween weekend. Well... Is it over? It's over. It's Monday. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. I'm going to see you guys on Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed the, the horror game. And that's about it. That's about it. I got to finish packing. 
Fuck! I have to finish packing and it's so late. It's fine though. It's all good. Thank you guys for watching the stream. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I will see you on.